I'm going to try the rescue of two birdhouse gourd squash plants by putting them into a little container garden. Here's the two squash plants that I am going to pot on into a container today. The backstory on these is I had seeds at least five, six years old and before I threw them out I researched and it said they last for a very long time. So I thought, oh, let's put them in a little bit of potting soil. Sure enough, to my surprise, they within four days sprouted and I potted them on instead of tossing them. And I don't know why I did that because I know they're not going to make it because they can't go out until mid-June. So here I am today doing a very silly thing. I am going to see if I can take these plants, grow them on a bit more indoors. That's till June, second week of June. So they've got a couple more months and um, then I'll harden them off and put them out on my veranda. They can trellis down over my veranda if they make it that far. Earlier today on my Facebook, on Greta's Garden Facebook, I had posted a picture of the poor little things and um, just basically, oh my, what have I done? And Diana, who follows me both on YouTube and Facebook, wonderful supporter, hello Dan, um, and probably knows me too well, said, are you gonna to try to grow those inside first, Greta, and then put them out? Due to my indoor growing and um, I said yes actually I'm pondering what pot right now so this is the pot I've chosen this container already has some mess in here of soil and discarded paper pots because as I'm potting on uh, and I do it in the kitchen you've probably seen me I throw the discard in here I would love to be able to bring in some of my composted manure, but I'm not bringing anything in from outside to start this off. So I will add some additional um, chicken manure pellets and I'm going to go out and get just a bit of bag soils, two types that I'm going to add in here. So I've got the soil and tomato cage because they already have the little tendrils forming here, trying to reach for something. They take about after a uh, transplant about 120 days to grow and they're very easy to grow. Uh, they just need a long season and mine, my first attempt five years ago, was not a long enough season. They have these beautiful soft, oh it's almost like a feather, uh, leaves and really pretty white flowers but mine unfortunately didn't uh, have the time to produce the fruit properly. So I never really bothered again. Like I say, before throwing those seeds out, I thought, ah. Eh. And of course, I shouldn't have these in the house now. They cannot go out here until probably the second week of June to survive. So is this an experiment that may go terribly wrong? Sure. They've got nice little roots. They're drier than anything. Let's see if I can get down there. I've got so much weird garbage. I'm just going to temporarily figure this out here a minute. Bear with me. So I'll try to put that one here. How would I bring it back when I've got this mess done? So the two birdhouse gourds plants are in. I also stuck in a dill and a parsley because they, oops, over here, because they are companion plants and the tendrils already trying to grasp on. Oops, I just undid that. Hopefully, I don't know, that's flowers. If they do flower inside, which I anticipate since they can't go out till June, I will hand pollinate, of course, and we'll do our best to see if these poor little guys will be able to survive. <laughs> Crazy experiment, isn't it? Plants never cease to amaze me. That's a matter of five minutes, possibly ten minutes, and the tendrils have wound around that quickly. So, 
No, we do not grow squash plant indoors. Winter squash at that, a birdhouse gourd squash plant. However, testing to see if the seeds were viable. They were. I didn't toss them out. I do have other seeds, which I will plant at a normal time, three weeks before my final frost date and plant them out probably two weeks after my final frost date. However, I didn't throw these out. I kept them, potted them on twice, and uh, we'll see what happens. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.